So one of the things that they talked about was the idea of reinforcing concrete with nitinol. And I wanted to mention something a little bit more about nitinol. Uh, nitinol is a shape memory alloy. This is an example of a nitinol sample. It's a nickel titanium alloy. And it has a very unusual property. Normally, when you take a material and you plastically deform it, so I bend a material, right, and I bend it and straighten it out, then what happens is I've actually passed dislocations through that material, or little ripples, that mean that that material is now plastically or permanently deformed in this case. Now, in nitinol, what's weird about it is it doesn't deform that way. It deforms because you're actually passing what we call twins. In other words, it's like you're taking the whole lattice and just zigzagging it. And in doing so, it actually remembers its original structure. So if I take this material, right, and it's a nice little spring, right, and I take it and I stretch it out, right, and I make it into something that doesn't look like it's a spring anymore. Well, what I can do now is I've, I actually take this and just gently warm it up. What happens is it's going to form right back into the spring because it remembers the shape it was in to begin with. And that's the beautiful thing about a shape memory alloy. Now, how would you use that in a concrete? Normally, you wouldn't think of that as a material you'd use in a concrete. However, if you actually embed nitinol into concrete, then when it breaks, if the concrete is under some stress and it actually fractures, you can actually then apply heat to that thing by resistively heating up the nitinol and it'll actually contract and pull the, the uh, beam back into shape. And so it can actually act as a reinforcement to give you enough time to actually let you get out.